You've been in the shoes of these astronauts. What does it feel like just hours before you take off? Oh, it's hugely exciting. If you think about uh, David Saint-Jacques, who's the Canadian on board, he's been in quarantine in, in Baikonur for the last two weeks. He's been training for this flight for three years. He's been training as an astronaut for nine years, and he's been dreaming about it his whole life. And in uh, three hours and 39 minutes, he's going to leave Earth. So it's, it's one of the biggest days, if not the biggest day in his life. And of course, uh, just uh, two months ago, there was that uh, booster failure, emergency landing as a result. Does that play into the psychological uh, preparation? I mean, how might you get your head around that setback two months ago? Well, as astronauts and cosmonauts, we're acutely aware of the actual danger of what's going on. I think a lot of people watching on television, they, they just don't think about the danger. But that's, that's our whole job. We train for it. We plan for it. And even though the booster rocket failed and exploded the main rocket, uh, the crew wasn't hurt at all. The safety systems were. In fact, one of the crew that's flying here in three hours, David, he's described the Soyuz as a, as a gnarly flying machine because it survived and brought them safely back to Earth. So you don't want your rocket to fail, but it's really nice to see how well the systems um worked. And we talk a lot about the dangers of, of, of the technology, but what about the relationships? Just three people going up uh, on that rocket. How intense do those relationships become? Uh, well, he's seen more of those other two uh, people, the Anne and, and Oleg. He's seen more of them than his family for the last year. Uh, you're counting on your lives with each other. I mean, that's just how it is. And, um, and there's so many things you have to know to operate the space station with the 200 experiments on board. So it, they become really members of your family. And, and they're there with you solving these problems. Your family's just standing a few miles away, sort of hoping that things go OK. But it's really uh, the two cosmonauts or astronauts next to you that are most, the most important people in the world at that moment.